Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. This channel was created to promote my self-published masterpiece, The N-Word is No Secret in the Service. I wrote this book after I spent over 10 years as an officer in the United States Secret Service. During this time, I encountered a lot of situations, been a lot of places, and received a lot of training. But more than anything, more than anything, I learned what true foundational institutionalized or systemic workplace racism is and how it affects my people. Let's cook. Today's video relates to the book, but not directly about the book, but it is about my uh, career in the United States Secret Service. Why I no longer discuss sports with white men. Why I no longer discuss sporting events with white men or sports. Now, this came about when I learned some things in my learning experience and career in the United States Secret Service. Now, disclaimer, this does not mean that I, did ne that I never discussed sports with white men ever again or any sporting events, okay? I, the only time, the only time that I discuss sports or sporting events with white men is when I actually knew that person and I knew that they respected me and my people more than anything besides respecting us as athletes or in sports, okay? So if I knew this white person as a coworker and I was around them, I knew enough about them to respect them, they respected my people and we can discuss sports, that was okay. But honestly, there weren't that many. So again, that does not mean that I never discussed, but I, will have, I had to know this person. Now, the reason why I decided that I did not and I will not discuss sports with white men again is because what this did was it often created a false, an illusion, it, it created an illusion of, a, of relations or a rapport, right? So a lot of times when you see a lot of white and black men interact and relate, they usually have nothing to talk about. I, I realized that we, we usually had nothing to talk about. We didn't like each other, you know what I'm saying? The only time that we had something to talk about for the most part is if we brought up sports. So then we could sit around and discuss sports like, hey buddy, did you see the game? Yeah, we almost, and you know what I mean? And a lot of these dudes, a lot of these black dudes would start talking and thinking like these white guys were their friends because they were fans of the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Eagles, the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, he likes the Bengals too, like me. And they would they would all just have this thing in their head where they're like, oh, well, he's a good guy. He, he's cool. He's a such and such fan. I'm like, are you serious? You want to base this man's, this, first off, this racist dude's character after I just told you what he said, did. Other people told you what he said, did, his reputation. So now he's okay because he likes the same sports team as you. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was I decided myself personally, I wasn't going to discuss sports with white men anymore. Okay. And guess what? After doing this, I spent a lot of time not saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember there was a time when I was taking a trip. I had to go on a day trip. There was at one time I was assigned to this duty where I would I would have to uh, take a day trip. I would have to drive up for about an hour and a half each way, at least three days a week, maybe two, two weeks out of a month. And when I did this, I would have a partner with me. You know, we would have to drive somewhere to take care of some stuff. So um, I remember one time I had this guy with me, this dude named Jay, this white dude, racist, known as a racist. Ask people racist questions, talk racist. I don't know, I've asked a couple people why they letting him do this. You know, they just let it go. One guy got at him though, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, I remember I had to take a, a, a trip with this dude for a whole week. We had to go back and forth, <laughs> drive back and forth. And I didn't say one word to him the whole time, a whole week. So the whole ride there, he drive there, I drive back, vice versa. Not one word, not one word. Because I didn't like it, you know what I'm saying? And I knew the way to break the ice would be we could discuss sports. But what am I going to discuss anything with you or act fake or create this false illusion of rapport or like we cool when I know how you feel about my people and, pe and things that you've said and done in the past. So I didn't speak to him at all. So my whole thing was I got sick of seeing a lot of a lot of my people, you know, go around these white guys who many of them have reputations for being racist or not speaking to them about anything other than sports you know, have reputation of being racist and discussing sports and talking about the fourth quarter and the draft pick, like as if 
we was cool. So my thing was, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I don't talk to no white people about, no white men about sports anymore. And I'm going to tell you something also. I don't know if you notice or you realize a lot of really, really racist, a lot of racist white men who are, let's say, overtly racist, overtly racist white men, white men okay? If you notice, a lot of them are diehard sports fans. Diehard. But that's all they, that's all they not respect. That's all they like a black person for. They just see them running around on the field and whatever, come back and discuss it with you and acting like, you know, acting like you all cool. And a lot of these black dudes was going for this. You're sitting around with these dudes talking about sports. I'm like, I ain't talking to you about nothing. You know what I mean? Let's keep it like the way, let's keep it trill like the way it is. I don't like you. You don't like me. And this usually was something because of something that I heard this person do to somebody else, not directly to me. I didn't have a lot of straight up direct issues with, with white men one on one. It was always, you know, because they have a, a often had a, they have a strategy for picking who they want to say certain things around do, uh, and, or do certain things around. And if it came to me and I got that, I didn't take it like, oh, he didn't do it to me. I just took it as, oh, they would or he would do that to me. If he didn't think that I would respond a certain way, but he did it to somebody who looked like me, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my reason for why I decided I never talk to white people, white men about sports anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because it created some fake false stuff as if we were cool when we weren't in a lot of dudes. If you notice when you when you see, especially in this field, when you're dealing with guys with guns. Law enforcement. If you see a lot of black men and white men talk, they usually only can talk about sports. Because other than that, it's, it's nothing. It's all fake. It's nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? Let's not talk about nothing. You know what I mean? If it ain't straight up work related, A, B, C, D, we ain't saying nothing. So I said, you know what? My days are talking to white men about sports. Over. Oh, do I love sports? Of course I love sports. And again, like I said, this does, does not mean that I would never discuss sports or didn't with any white person period i said i had to know this person because i would have to know first that this is not the only thing that we could discuss you know what i mean or talk about or even have a report about so i would have to know that this was a good person a respectable person who i could have some level of respect for as a man he couldn't be a straight outward racist or a pig or a sour rag somebody who just treated people bad other than that I wasn't discussing sports with him. And again, there weren't too many people to discuss sports with that were white anyway, period. Due to do the, 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 the guideline that I set for myself. Okay. So, but test this. Put this to the test, people. Try it out. If you if you work around, if you're a black man, if you work around a lot of uh, white men, or if you're in an environment, especially law enforcement, or you're in an environment with a lot of white men, take sports out of the equation and see what you have to talk about. See what you discuss. See how real it is. It ain't. You won't have not much to say at all.